New attend sinkholes are popping up in one local community. One is so big that a tow truck got stuck inside. Another has a shrub planted in it. News 9's Gage Golding has more. Residents in one local community say they are fed up after several sinkholes have formed on their streets. One being so big that a man actually got his tow truck stuck inside. I backed out, started moseying down the street, and then all of a sudden I felt this big bump and my truck started leaving. That's the moment that Scott Wheeler said his truck fell into this sinkhole outside of his home on North 22nd Street in the Warwood neighborhood of Wheeling. Wheeler says he was shocked by the noise, confused as to what was going on. Originally, I thought my tire fell off, so I got out and looked, and here to find out, my truck fell inside the road. But instead of going to work to tow cars, Wheeler instead had to call a tow truck for himself, costing him several hundred dollars. A mm, couple hundred dollars, five, six hundred dollars worth of between the tow and having to get my truck realigned and the time that, uh, you know, I missed work today, so. Wheeler says the problem didn't pop up overnight. No, and it's been an ongoing thing. I mean, the city's known about this for three weeks. He says it all started with his sewer backing up, then the road sagging outside of his home, and now this, a sinkhole that's consuming nearly half of the roadway. While getting his truck fixed is one of his top priorities, Wheeler says he's concerned about other people's safety. Yeah, we got the walking trail right down the street here. We have kids constantly up and down, people walking their dogs. I mean, it's definitely a safety issue. The sinkhole isn't the only one in the area. Just a block away on Richland Avenue, another sinkhole, this time in the middle of the street and with a special addition. Wheeler says that residents are so fed up with the sinkholes, someone planted a shrub inside. On the other hand, city officials say they are aware of the situation and are currently working to make steps towards fixing the sinkholes. And planting a shrub inside of this sinkhole on Richland Avenue is a way that residents can send a message to the city that things need to change. Reporting in Warwood for News 9, I'm Gage Golding.